what we have built is a electronic file cabinet for your health records on your smartphone. And we help, we provide the tools and help people to aggregate their medical records, organize them, and format them th so that they can be shared easily, seamlessly, and securely on a blockchain, such as Ethereum. So if from the consumer or the user standpoint of that app, what does that interface look and feel like? Does it feel different from any other app that you might have where you type in a password, for instance? No, it looks very similar to other apps. Uh, we just want uh, this app to be something that uh, people can carry with them wherever they go. They're never left without a recent copy of their health records, no matter where they are, whether they have internet connection or not and be in a position to really securely share it with uh, people they choose to share it with on a secure blockchain. So uh, in terms of keeping that safe from, say, hackers, it cannot, this cannot be hacked at all, correct? So the, w the uh, blockchain cannot be hacked. What we do is we put the transaction. So when you decide to, when you choose to share your medical records with someone, that transaction gets logged on, on blockchain and the blockchain cannot be hacked, it's secure. The medical data itself are transmitted on a secure channel uh, that is not on blockchain. So on blockchain you have the transaction, the record of the transaction, mm -hmm. and that cannot be hacked. So the private ledger is there to keep track of the transfer of the records. How do you actually, how does a consumer actually have possession of those records? Do they have, for instance, the equivalent of a private key? Exactly. So today, you know, there are government mandates in place where the consumers have a right to aggregate the medical records from different places. And the problem is that our medical records are scattered all over the place. Some of them are in doctor's offices, some of them are in hospitals. And now we are generating even more data with our fitness trackers. And so the tools we need is to really ag aggregate these medical records on our phone and have them available to us in case of emergency or if we are traveling and make it accessible on a blockchain so that we can share them securely. Uh, you know, the one thing about the private key, which is probably a, a, a great thing in terms of security and also a bad thing, is that it's the, only the user who can access that private key. If you have possession of the private key, you're the one who owns those records. If you, are, if you needed to access those records and you're injured or you're unconscious, what, what happens then? Well, so the, uh, the records are on your phone, mm -hmm. and if you are injured, you know, and, and if somebody um, gets uh, to your phone, they can use your biometrics to, to get access to the mm -hmm. phone. There are also other technologies available so that you can still access your phone even though you may be injured and access those records. Now, the, the records on the phone themselves are secure, but are not secured with keys. The keys come into play when you actually share them on a blockchain. So on your phone, the records are visible to oh, you. Oh, I see. So they can on, access them locally under, under on control. the phone because the information is yes. on the phone. Got it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.